poor. He might have something to give away or trade. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful materials there. Again, there's some, there's some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of parts, but caution is advised. It is very important to read descriptions here because they can change. Um, the ruined block of flats, that doesn't really change. There's two that, um, one of the two you always get on the first night and they're safe. The ruined block of flats is the one that we got this time, completely safe. Um, however, St. Mary's, this is one story. It is random which story you get. You could get the other story, um, and in the other story, St. Mary's is not a safe place, and the priest was actually murdered, and there's armored thugs there. So, important to read and pay attention to what you're doing. There are a few of them that don't change. Like I said, the ruined block of flats, if you get that in the beginning, it's always safe. Um, the quiet house never changes. It's always safe. Um, however, you steal from old people, and if you take their food, you go back and they will die. Kind of sad kind of hurts my heart a little bit. Makes me a little sad. Um, so let's read the description here. Um, it's in a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area of little houses with porches and gardens. Most of those houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives there. Uh, we've got nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. So I have stolen from there. I don't like to do it unless it is absolutely a life or death situation. So, we're just going to leave it for now. Uh, we're going to go to the block of flats. I'm not taking anything with me. You can choose to take stuff with you. Um, but, let's just... Let's just wing it. Let's go. So now we're going to load. Just like the day is timed, the night is timed as well. It starts at 9 p.m., ends at 4.59 a.m. If you are not back before that time, um, it takes them longer to get back, and there's a chance that they'll be wounded when they get back as well because the snipers are out during the day. We are again going to use the stash method, guys, um, for those of you that might be familiar. Why don't I like stealing? Um, I try to play a... Um, nice slash neutral game and I do steal things but um, I feel better if it's like from thugs or things like that I don't like to steal from the old people I did steal from the old people in one playthrough and I came back later like I stole their food I came back later and they were both laying in dead like in bed and they were dead and all of my people got depressed and I felt really really bad <laughs> I felt really bad so I try not to take their food I, I will steal their components but I won't steal their food um, it just I feel bad I guess I don't know if that's good enough but it is for me so this is what's in this stash already components wood good stuff I just wanted to check and see what it was so basically with the stash method you clear everything out you take it to the stash the stash is some place that's already that you can search when you walk in that's close to the entrance. It's good, it makes things faster. When you clear everything out and put it here, you only have to run in and out. It's also good if it's dangerous. Let's say um, this place was dangerous, it's not, but let's say it is. And um, she goes up here and dies. Well, everything from these rooms is down here, so I can send somebody else in just to grab what she got. Um, you know. I don't have to send them up there to get everything if it's life or death. They can get it here, and then when I'm ready, I can go up there and get whatever she had on her. So let's proceed into this house here. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, people get really depressed, and some characters are get more depressed than others. Like when Boris, when he steals anything, he gets really upset. But like Amelia, when she steals, it she doesn't get as upset. So each character, depending on their personality, depending on their skills, it will depend how they react to those kind of things. But yeah, it's definitely a possibility. This is a new icon. It's something for us to look at. Sometimes that will unlock new places to scavenge. Sometimes it's just giving you info. If you're not used to this game, read all of them because you don't want to miss anything. So, it's a baby carriage. Baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle, half full of congealed mass. It was probably a baby formula, which is gross. Someone must have left in a terrible rush or maybe didn't need them anymore. Hopefully they just left in a rush. That's really sad.
Yeah, that's that's true, Boltsy. Um, people can either leave and steal all your stuff, or they can kill themselves. I've never had that happen. I've never had that happen, um, personally, but it is possible. I don't really want to see what it would look like, because then I'd feel really bad. And I, I don't need to feel really bad. So, what did we pick up? We picked up coffee, which is good. We have a coffee drinker. I picked up um, some roll-up cigarettes, which are not the best quality. If we had a smoker, it would work. We don't have a smoker, so right now it's just got some trade value. Some raw food, which is good. Um, fertilizer, which is good. Uh, again, more components, some mechanical parts, some weapon parts, um, electric parts, all good stuff. All good stuff so far. Yeah, more never changes. So this is kind of a little area. As you noticed, um, there isn't really a tutorial. Um, I think that's good and not so good. Um, of course, war, you don't get a tutorial, you know, and that's kind of what they were going for, and I understand that. I think that's, that's um, good. I think it works well. The game is pretty self-explanatory. I will say... Uh, my first playthrough, which I didn't stream, um, but my first playthrough, it was a little rough because I had no idea what was going on. Um, so it's definitely better this time. Pretty good player than if you haven't seen them any suicide yet. I can say that I have on my early rounds. Aww. Yeah, well, I try to play. It's definitely easier to survive if, if you just steal from everybody and are not nice. Um, the trick is, is, if you're going to do that, you have to be able to balance how they feel about it. You have to be able to balance their depression with all that stealing and killing. Um, but it is easier to get stuff that way. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it can be challenging. I mean, you don't realize how complex this game really is um, until you play through it a couple times. Okay, so, real quick... You can see when I single click, she's sneaking and uh, not really making any noise. When I double click, see that? Those circles? That's the noise she's making. So if someone was standing up here and she was running here, they would hear her and they would come down to investigate. Which is bad if that is an armed thug. So just, just something to think about. Right here, this shows us that that's a grated door. We can't get through that without a saw blade. And guess what? We don't have them, and I can't make them right now. It's going to be a while before I can get some. So we won't be able to completely clear out this place. And I can tell you right now, if there's anything super valuable, it's going to be behind these grates, which here, I believe, is the medicine. Um, so we'll just take what we can. When we get saw blades, we'll come back. Not a big deal. Just how we have to do it, you know? So, let's go ahead and put everything back in the stash. It's good to keep practicing, even though, you know, this place is safe and you don't really have to use the stash method. It's just habit. And I'd say it's probably a good habit to have for when you do get into some place that is not safe. Alright, so this is the last area that we can scavenge without having a saw blade. More parts. Parts and wood, parts and wood. That's what you're mostly going to find, which, which is fine. We're going to need it. I'm all about being self-sufficient. I don't want to have to steal. I want to be able to get stuff myself. So that's what we're ultimately working towards. Alright, so put everything in the stash that we found today, and we only pull out what we're actually going to take home. So, what are we going to take home, guys? That is the question. Um, tomorrow is day two. They're going to be hungry, so we're going to bring food home. We need parts to be able to make the stove and things like that for them. So we're going to take these home as well. Alright, so that's what I'm deciding to take home. That should be enough to build at least the stove, probably the radio too. Um, maybe we can even build a crowbar, which would be helpful around the house anyway. Not really helpful here. So Zaleta is back. While we were gone, there's a chance that we could have been raided. There's a chance that whoever stayed home could get sick. Um, so cross our fingers, hope for the best. Day two. 
There she is. She's coming home. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. So she's happy. That's good. What happened? The night was calm. Happy dance. Happy dance. All right, that makes me happy inside, right here. In my heart. It gives you, you know, Zelaya has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Says exactly what she brought back. Which we know that. We were looking at it. So obviously they're up all night. They're tired. Hungry, tired, still slightly sick. Hungry, tired, still slightly sick. That's why we need two beds. Um, first things first. We're going to make the stove so that they can eat. Because eating is good. We are going to have them eat every other day. Um, so they're going to be eating on even days. Just to stretch the food out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and finish what she was working on and then see if we can make um, a crowbar as well. We have a lockpick, but lockpicks are single use, and they're actually really quiet, so they're kind of better when you're out scavenging and you need to steal something. Oh, we don't have any, don't have enough components. Um, so if I can save those for when we're out and about, that would be better. Right here, actually, we're gonna need fuel as well, because you need fuel for cooking, so. Let's, might as well turn it into fuel. Hey. 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 All right, what do we have here? Um, notice uh, the stove here can be upgraded once. We do want to upgrade it. We just don't have enough stuff. A more efficient stove allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, more efficiently saving fuel. So when winter does come, that needs to be upgraded already so we don't go through a ton of fuel. Because that's kind of hard to come by. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't have enough water. Oh, no. Oh, it'll be fine. So we'll make one thing of soup, and then someone will just have to eat two raw things of food, which is really gross. So, who do we want? Who do we want? Okay, Amelia is going to eat. They can eat it directly out of the fridge. It's not cooked, so it's not as filling. So watch this. Zaleta is going to eat what was um, what was prepared. Not very filling, but it's food. And see, her hunger's completely gone. So now she's going to bed. You guys will get used to this routine. We do it all the time. She ate the raw food. She's still hungry. You have to feed her twice. That's fine. We'll get a rain collector. It'll be okay. Why are there three types of fuel? Yeah, Bolts, Bolts has it right. You can make fuel from wood that you gather, you can make fuel from um, books that you have, or components. I think it takes three components to make one thing of fuel, though. Alright, so everyone's laying down. Everyone needs to sleep, because they can't be tired tonight. If they're tired tonight, we're in trouble. It's a little hairy because we have stuff that needs to be done. We have rubble piles that need to be moved. We have things gotten. Um, but them sleeping is more important at this point. When I first started playing, all that background explosions like scared me. Every time I heard them, I was like, oh no. Didn't we get hit or shelled or something? But you get used to it after a while. Hey, Caden. Hi, Caden. Welcome to the channel, man. Nice to see you back. Yeah, you were. Man, last night's stream went so late, but it was fun. So, we're just waiting for them not to be tired anymore. They're still tired. They got to bed a little late. A little later than usual. Um, because they had to eat first. Hopefully we'll at least clear out what's up here. Knock on wood. Come on, guys. There we go. Zelaita is not tired anymore. Wake up, Zelaita. Yeah, let's go clear this out. So, 
Crowbar is really what we need to finish.